back out at Marsh, uh, trying to get a little quick session in uh, before a really busy weekend. It's funny the, uh, the, <laughs> the way that your life changes when you have kids. You know that first, uh, you have a kid and you know, world flips upside down and then they get older and now like my weekends are gone. Got a uh, birthday party this afternoon. We've got ballet practice. We've got gymnastics meet tomorrow. It's, kids are great, but yeah, that's what happens. I hope to finish up my, uh, my Seba CJ review uh, this weekend, maybe next week. Um, still uh, pretty confident about you know how they feel. I, I really enjoy the ride. Um, I don't think there's going to be any surprises, to be honest. Um, you know, they're great skates. They're a little expensive uh, for most people. Um, I don't know that uh, uh, you need to get the carbon fiber version. I haven't tried the plastic version yet. But, um, you know, man, I really, I really love these skates. They, they just feel like my hockey skates that I love, which is just super responsive, light. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really great setup. Anyway, uh, back out here at Marsh. Uh, gonna do uh, a little bit. It's been raining all week. Uh, thankfully, it's not as cold as it was last weekend. It's in the 40s now, so it's still cold, but it's skatable. Um, the ground is still pretty wet, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to skate. Uh, but really wanna give these skates one last try. You know, I'm skating the Ground Control Featherlight three frames with uh, Anti Rocker again. Um, and um, it's a new setup for me, but I'm actually not hating Anti Rocker. Um, I like the feeling of uh, being able to jump on grinds and not worry about sticking. I do get that same feeling on the Wish Frame, but the Wish Frame is longer which means that my stride feels different. It's a really weird balance. Um, the Wish, if anything, might be super comparable to an anti-rocker setup, but I don't know. I, I got a few more thoughts. I'll, I'll see if I can put together a video on that in a few weeks. This uh, pool that I usually session when I'm warming up is a little, a little wet. Um, so found this little uh, this little incline. It's fine. Uh, it feels good. I uh, <laughs> I tripped a little bit on one of uh, one of the downs with the anti rocker wheels. Um, apparently, you have to uh, jump over the lip, otherwise the wheels will roll. And uh, rolling wheels is not good. All right, let's try some grinds. Man, I absolutely love this ledge. It is, I mean, it's perfect. There's the curve that keeps you on so you can flop over a little bit and it'll pull you off. It's perfectly waxed. Uh, huge, huge thanks to Long for, uh, for taking such good care of this place. It's, it's always amazing to skate. Back 
Royale felt amazing. I absolutely love grinding on an anti-rocker. I'm and I'm not I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed anymore to admit it. It feels so good. I mean, there's really, for grinds, there's no negative. Like, you just jump on and you float. Like, the, I mean, this is what the wish frames, my transition from flat to the wish frames was dramatic, right? My transition from wish frames to skating anti rocker for grinds is almost the same level of, of change. It's just effortless, you know? Um, the, the, the major drawback for me skating anti rocker versus like the wish frame or a flat is um, is lining myself up for for grinds I uh, especially coming in fakie it is really hard to pick that line because when you're when you're skating up to a grind you kind of got to move around and and figure out where you want to jump on the ledge right and sometimes you don't plan it perfectly and you have to turn a little bit like those little micro like adjustments it's really hard with anti rocker like I feel like I you know, just have to pick up my foot and move it, move it, move it. So flat wind's there, but man, it sure, it sure feels good to grind. Oh, this was a good session. Feels just so solid. I mean, I'm jumping on, sliding, no problem. Uh, feeling confident on Royales, feeling confident on my, my soul. Haven't tried uh, any topside tricks. I don't really want to do that today. I gotta get out of here, actually. But uh, yeah, this was a good day. Uh, my Seba review should be up, hopefully later this week. Uh, it's, it's gonna be hard to say, but uh, maybe next week. Um, also have, uh, if you listen to the podcast, um, we have part two of the uh, uh, 2017 review uh, with me and Ben and uh, Rob Harrington. Um, we should be recording that this coming weekend. Uh, so if you haven't listened to the first, check it out, backtoblading.com slash podcast. Uh, and yeah. See you guys next week.